Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards are going to travel all the way up to Boston to Worcester, Massachusetts to take on Holy Cross. And there's not a hotter team, I think, in the Patriot League than Holy Cross and Peter Puyos. But today I want to talk about pass routes and some of the reasons why Sean O'Malley did a great job passing for over 325 yards this past weekend, completing a lot of passes, 30 for 44, and you can see the maturation of him in the pocket, stepping up, doing a lot of great things. But on the outside, let's talk about the X receiver right now, guys like Matt Morazic and Rocco Palumbo. Outside, you're going to see them run a lot of slant routes. So just to kind of go back through with some of the uh, – uh, fans out there are talking about sometimes they want me to clarify what I'm talking about during the day a slant route three-step inside route a fade route down the sideline the pre-snap read for Sean O'Malley is going to be two high safeties or one high safety when you have two high safeties there's a lot of dead areas dead area being the middle of the field and also the outside area or what we call the fade area so that uh, that uh, fade route is very very good if you want to run a seam route that's a seam route, up the middle, splitting the seam. If it's a three deep look, then the seams would be down the hash. So a seam route down the center, a fade route to the outside, slant routes. Also, Joey Chenoweth does a great job. Off of maybe play action boot, you see what I call a squirrel route, where you work to the inside, maybe showing that backer that you're gonna block, and then working back to the outside. So that would be what I call a squirrel route. So you have the seam and the squirrel. A slide route to the outside, very good versus a bail corner that runs out. You have the flats wide open. If it's too deep, you could turn that into what we call a wheel route. So a lot of different routes coming across. Also, we have the drag route. Drag across, you saw Matt Morazic do that this weekend, did a great job. Everybody clears out and you drag underneath either from the outside or from the secondary position. So we have drag. From here we could run the slide, again run the wheel route up the sideline. So these are basic routes. We also saw uh, Wadsworth set up in the middle. So if you get divided backers in the middle in that three deep look, you can sit down right in the center or a hook route. On the outside, the double X, curl route, deep comeback routes, hitch routes. Anything that stops there would be called a hitch. So all of these routes are very important. They've been very successful for Sean O'Malley and all of his wide receivers. So you'll have a better idea of what I'm talking about on Saturdays when I talk about the squirrel, the fade, the seam route, the stop route, and the comeback. This weekend, Holy Cross, 1 o'clock.